Afternoon everyone. We're uh, down, back down at the field that we uh, cultivated yesterday. Um, Keithy is on the drill, on the combination drill. Uh, he was struggling to see his mark, so uh, we've been over with the um, Cambridge uh, rolls. Uh, just quickly, just so we can just flatten it down so we can see his mark again. Everything's drying down pretty nice, so he'll be able to. Uh, he's doing a nice job on that. We got Colin in the field over this way. Colin's on the 6480 that we were on with the um, with the cultivator. And when we got to work this morning, well, it was a bad start actually. There was a calf laid outside one of the pens, a dead calf, and. Um, well, <laughs> we all thought the worst because it was a humongous calf. So we all thought, great, yeah, he's obviously had a job carving that in the night. But um, turns out, actually, um, he carved it all right. The uh, but the calf just came out dead. Um, apparently, it's just full of fluid, and um, uh, yeah, it was a bit, a bit of a shame that one. While well, we got this up, we got we. Um, I've put the drone up to show uh, the cultivator going and um, we'll just see if Keith, he, he might be back on his track by the time we get there. Uh, little Andrew, he's out power harrowing in front of Peter who's on the other drill. They're at another farm. Uh, we'll see if Keith, he, I think he's getting in back into his tractor now. I was hoping on uh, showing you how the change of seat but it's too late. I missed it. Well, let's go back to his mark and we can uh, watch him drop in. You can see how the uh, drill works then. Everything this side's been drilled. And uh, we'll go across with the Cambridge Royals once more after he's finished. Colin's just pulling up some, just pulling up some more ground across the way there. This is gonna be barley this side, so. That front hopper holds a ton of seed. But as you can see, There's an up close, uh, up close view on it. Crazy noisy. That front fan makes a hell of a noise. Uh, I wonder if we can, uh, let's see if there's any barley we can pick up. Now, if we have a look, we should be able to see where he's dropping the seeds. one that's a barley seed and uh, that'll be one of the rows that'll go all the way up there that's doing a nice job now all we got to do is hope it grows that's doing a pretty nice job though I should be pleased with that it's a big bit of equipment but you've got to realize you're actually doing two jobs in once You'd normally have to come through with another tractor, power hammer everything down before you could go and then go at it with the drill. I wanna stay in your sunlight. I wanna wake up with you by my side. Without you, there is no tomorrow.
don't care. So down these fields, most all of our fields at the farm are like this and it's like putty, heavy clay, heavy clay soils so that's why we're pulling it up because it's solid in the ground it is really tough and uh, it will just drag that tractor down it just won't travel along very fast um, while we're down here with the rolls we'll roll it in quick and uh, th then we've got to go TV and finish our TV test could be any minute now so I could get a phone call and we'll let her go so the farmers new sprayer they came down to fit it and uh, because it's getting fitted next to uh, the old front tank they didn't quite have the right part to uh, make it work so uh, unfortunately that's going to have to wait for a little while they're going to get the duck get the part ordered and come back to us They don't call me the rookie for nothing. Come on. Hey, guess what? So, I'm down here rolling in front of Keith so he can see his mark. I get a call from Lynn. She's come down to pick the farmer up because he brought the seed down for the drill. Hey Matt, look what I found. What's that then? She's only gone and found that um, electric cable. I, I said no way, there's no way. I looked all over there. She said, I found it lying on top. So I was like, you're having a laugh. She was like, I'm not. I said, Lynn, I had a proper man look for that. So, but I don't know what it is. Can you never <laughs> to find so you can never find it. Send the women out to look for it, they find it straight away. I thought that was brilliant. And it'll soon be time to put the balls in. We'll have two new balls come in. When they come, we'll show you them. They're so massive. They're so scared. Like, you stand, the guys go in there to litter them up. I vote, only this year have I just made the decision to go in there because they are just humongous. The last couple of years, I wouldn't even go in there with them. They're just massive. So it'll be cool to see what balls we get. Hopefully. Hopefully they're not like uh, Naughty Norman. <laughs> Right, am I doing these corners right? Because I don't know, no one's really told me how to do it. I just back up to them, I don't know if that's right or not. And also, on the second time round, when we get to it, I'll show you. I just sort of make it up as I go. I don't know if there's a proper way of doing it or what. People keep asking for a uh, machinery tour. Uh, we might do one. I've got to speak to the farmer first. Uh, it's going to be when we're a little bit less busy because everybody's out the yard at the minute, all the tractors are out. And from now until, well, we might get one quiet week, but what we should be doing this time of year, we should be out with the harrows, out with the uh, heavy rolls and uh, rolling the grass, harrowing the grass. And, uh, well, hopefully we're going to get to some of that. In a few days' time, maybe, we might get to a few fields. Right, so on these corner bits, coming up to a corner bit, I've just been doing this, just turning. But then, of course, you're rolling this twice. I don't know if that's, a, if that's right or not. They've asked me to roll it twice, so what we're doing is just driving down the uh, mark of the last rolls. So you've got half rolling this side again, and then half starting a new set. But they haven't actually told me why we're doing that. Uh, they will tell me, because I'll ask them. You have to remember, I wasn't, 
bought up on a farm. I'm only in it from the last two years, two or three years properly. Um, so I don't know every reason for everything they do. They'll just say, go and, go and roll that, go and harrow this. And if I don't forget to ask, they won't, they just presume I know, but uh, easy for them because they've done it all their life. But for me, I, I want to know what I'm at. I want to know why we're doing it. I, I want to know what the reason is. Obviously, I know what the reason is for this. This will look a tidy job. Right, so we just had the... Uh, that's where they found the electric cable. That's where Lynn found it. I looked all over here for that cable. Just had the call from the farmer. He's... Uh, the vet's on her way, so we've got to go and make our way up to the, uh, the other yard where the rest of the cows are. And just finish that TB test off. Uh, it shouldn't be a long job, just be a quick job. There's only, what is it, 20 something cows up there. Uh, so it won't take long. It's so weird having a gear stick on your right hand side. I don't know why. Just for the first, when you first get in here, the first day is a bit on. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go and do that now. We didn't get to see Keithy fill his drill. Missed that. He'll probably be on the next pass. He'll probably go and fill it up. No, and I'll look. But we've got to go back down there later, finish that rolling. Um, we're about halfway across. It was just sticking as well. So it's a good job that we left that for a bit. Otherwise, it'll leave a just leaves a rubbish finish it uh, sort of flicks back up so uh, that's actually a good timing for that right on to the next job yeah Easy. Come on. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Come on, in you go. That's the right way, mate, but that'll be all right. All right, is it? Yeah, you can get that and then kick that bottom in. Oh. Go on, go on, go on in, go on, go on in, go on, get up, get up, go on. Got it! Got it! 
Go on. Go on. Shh. Go on. Don't go this way. Come on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Hey. Oh, yeah. Go on. I don't know what it is about these youngers. They always want to, they just flick out and they're right in your, you know you're going to get it in the gnat. <laughs> close. Closer you are, less it hurts. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Morning, girls. You don't even know who Ted Rogers is. No, I don't. Never heard of him. Oh, yeah, no. Probably some old dude with a moustache. <laughs> Go on. Ted Rogers, he is a legend. Come on! Not like a walking right? Is it, what was he off? Starsky and Hutch? Oh, I'm tall. Come down here. Have we got... Oh! Alright. Get to me. Up your end. Yeah. Good. Almost. Are we in? Uh, wow. You're determined. I'll get shot. Lean on that and that'll go in. Here. Good to go. Go on, Ed. Go on. Yeah. That drives me insane. Why? When she just lashes out for no reason. If that catches you in the chops, you are down, my friend. Just ride the boot. <laughs> just ride it. You're going to have a hoof shaped foot on your mouth. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how painful was that to watch? Uh, ten. <laughs> yeah, it felt just as painful for you watching as it was me. <laughs> That's, uh, that is. That's an art form, that is. Yeah, that is. Um... That ain't easy, is it? No, you, it that takes a bit of getting your head around to be truthful. It's the forward it and back, and it. You used to a little rocker switch. Those manitous well, make it. So, we're so used to pressing a button. And there being a function. Yeah. That. We're just so used to it, mate. You press a button, function. That thing, press a button. Oh, what's happening? <laughs> right, yeah. Which way does what? Even on a tractor, when I bought that um, 7618, the boys were telling me, it does this, it does that. I said, do those buttons work a spool? Because you press the two buttons, and I want it to work. I want it. I don't want to be in there. Oh, you turn this, and then you do this. Then it'll work that. 
bollocks. I want to get in there. I want to press a button. <laughs> yeah, I want to no. fucking work something. Yeah. And that, and that, in all honesty, is what you need, mate. And it does on Andrew's tractor. That joystick is like yeah. A you go one joystick. way or the other, and then and all the way for flow. Yeah. There's a third. Yeah. What they used to do on uh, Keithy used to drive one like it. That Ford used to be like it without that flicker. You could have a just a press button, so you press the button, oh. hold it. Yeah. Then you've done the joystick one way and the other. Yeah, that would and make it, more sense, wouldn't it? More intuitive. Do you know what I mean? It is, but to me, it's still an arse ache, isn't it? I want to press that button. I want it to work something. I don't oh, want to I be see. Doing the same. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I want to be doing the two functions at once. I want to be able to tilt it oh, and, and grab open it. the grab. Yeah. Because that's what I'm always doing with a teleport. I'm yeah. always using two, um, probably three functions on a teleport. I'd be using. I'll be pushing the boom in and out, letting the bales go at the same time, lifting it, lowering it, steering it into where I, the position I want. Yeah. And it's just what I get used to that doing. Is that is bizarre. We're not. Yeah. yeah, yeah I was like, oh. That is, that is an Especially for me, I never, tr I never done it before on one of those. It's, um, you, you, honestly, that's why I didn't say to you because you just got to just turn your, you got to switch your brain off because you know it's going to take ten minutes. Right then. <clears throat> so we finished the TB test. Uh, out the whole herd, we had two inconclusives, which means another test in sixty days. So <clears throat> our farm has. Uh, in 2018, the farm went down with TB, and even after two blood tests and a load more other several tests, we can't seem to break free of it. But we're on 60 day testing until we can get two clear tests. Uh, it's one of those things, we do everything we can to try and clear it, but we can't at the minute. So, yeah, anyway, the farmer will talk more about that on another day. So, we've finished this field now. Keithy's just finished. He's literally just done his last pass. Uh, I've rolled half of it, but um, it's wetter on that far end. So, tomorrow morning I'll come back down and finish that off. And that'll be that one finished. I think there's barley going into these next two fields as well down here. And we're just going to take the seed back, put it under cover. Keith wants to weigh this bag on here and see what's on, what's left on there, just to make sure the right rate has gone on. Ooh. Yeah, this TB stuff gets the farmer down every time. They know uh, it's just ridiculous, really. They've taken 40 of our cattle. None of them have had lesions on their thing, on their lungs. When they take the cattle, you see, they'll come and do a blood test. If you fail two tests, they'll come and do a blood test. Hang on, I'm struggling to see. Come and do a blood test, and a uh, one of the farm friends actually said to us when they had their farm go down with TB, they said to us straight away, expect 10% to be taken away, and it was. We had 30 go on the first time. Uh, they came back and the test failed again. We had a reactor, so they wanted to do another blood test. And the blood test is meant to clear everything out of the herd. But we've had two blood tests and we're still on 60 day. We still, every single time, there's one inconclusive, two inconclusives. Uh, the test before this one, there was a calf that had gone through two blood tests, four normal tests, and then on that one, 
an instant reactor and he had to be destroyed and it's that's the heartbreaking thing for the farmer they're destroying all these animals when they go to cut they'll cut them open and have a look at the uh, lungs on the cow and they uh, they report back to the farmer oh no lesions but it doesn't mean you go clear you have to have two clear tests before you're allowed to then trade again normally uh, so it's just one of those things you're, you're fighting a losing battle until they come up with a a test that is accurate yeah uh, you're just all, you're just on the back foot with that anyway we're gonna end it there someday the uh, farmer will talk you through it properly because obviously I've not that much experience with it so but it's very frustrating but we don't get too down about it we sort of know what's coming and um, yeah it's the end of the day sun's going down seven o'clock we're all gonna go home no point starting anything else now so uh, yeah if you like the video give us a thumbs up please subscribe if you want to more videos coming where are we we're about a thousand acres into drilling now so another week and we should be done I think week maybe a week and a bit yeah nice one thanks for watching cheers